Shalom friends. Um, so yesterday we started this wonderful and impactful series on the power to cling. And I did say to us that we're going to be talking about, about Ruth. And um, for us to talk about Ruth, we need to get back to our main um, chapter or text for this um, podcast or production, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so we saw in the book of Jeremiah chapter 13, how God told the prophet Jeremiah to go and get a linen girdle or a sash and, and put it upon his loins and put it not in water. And so he took the girdle and went and hid it in the, in the rocks, in the river Euphrates. And that sash or girdle was so stained. The Bible uses the word, it was mad. I mean, it was mad and it was profitable for nothing. That's what the scripture says. If you read from verse 1 up to verse 11, it says that, 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 that it was mad and it became profitable for nothing. You know, and God said he was going to mar the pride of heart of the people of, the Ju of Judah and the great pride of heart of Jerusalem. He says that because they were an evil people, they refused to hear his words. They walked in the imagination of their heart and they walked after other gods to serve them and to worship them. And they will become good for nothing because they have done all of these. And why do I bring Ruth into this conversation is the fact that Ruth was from an ungodly kingdom of Moab, the Moabites, where, where, where people who worshipped a lot of idols. We know the story. I don't want to bore you with the story of how Naomi went to live in Moab when there was farming in in Israel, she had to go on a self-imposed exile with her entire family and her husband. And of course, she lost her husband, had her two sons, but then she had her two daughters remaining with her. And then one day, the Bible said uh, there was food again in Israel and Naomi decided to go back home. And the two daughter-in-laws, uh, sorry, daughters-in-law actually went with her and then when they were going said to them guys come on girls you need to go back i've not i've got no sons anymore to give to you uh, uh, and then oprah went back but the bible says ruth clung onto her mother-in-law you can find that in ruth uh, uh, chapter 1 verse 14. the bible says she clung onto her mother-in-law this is a young woman who came from an idolatrous background but because she had heard tremendous stories about jehovah god about elohim from naomi probably and she decided to join affinity she decided to hold on strongly she decided to hold on tenaciously without letting go of this woman who had spoken to her about God unlike the people that Jeremiah was asked to go and prophesy to. And so because she clung on to her mother-in-law, she became an epitome of what Jeremiah spoke in Jeremiah chapter 13 verse 11. The scripture says, that they will become a people, they will become a name or a renown, they will become a praise and they will become a glory. Now we see those things in the life of Ruth. Ruth actually became a name, Ruth became a praise, Ruth became a renown, Ruth became a glory. Today we still talk about Ruth for that singular act of having to go after this God that she heard about from her mother-in-law. It is an open invitation that God is giving to us as believers, even as those who don't believe in God, as we pray for them, that they will just decide, particularly in our families, in our schools, in our workplaces, that they will just rise up one day and decide to cling onto this God. And so our focus today will be to pray that God will make us a praise on the face of the earth. And I'm sure that every one of you that might just listen to this uh, um, podcast uh, will 
definitely say that, you know what, Lord, I want to be a praise on the face of the earth. I mean, praise is something good. So we're just going to start praying and we're going to make declarations. And I want you to declare the word of God. And at the same time, I want you to understand that no man has the monopoly or monopoly of revelation. It is also your responsibility to sit down and search out the scriptures. Be like the Berean Christians. I want to encourage you. Paul was speaking about the Berean Christians. He said they were more noble than the Christians in Thessaloniki because they went back to check and to see through the word of God if everything Paul was saying to them was accurate. So I encourage you to go back, read the scriptures again and again, uh, particularly the chapter that we're focusing on, which is Jeremiah uh, chapter 13. Read the entire chapter if you want, but just zero in on that verse 11 and then zero in on some other verses and then take it back to Ruth chapter 1 verse 14 where I said that Ruth clung onto her mother-in-law with that singular act of clinging Ruth came into those dimensions so we're going to be praying you're going to say father in the name of Jesus by your power by your spirit by your mercies oh God I declare oh God by your might that the day oh God I come into the revelation uh, of, of clinging on to you and as I cling on to you father I declare that you will make me you will make my family you will make my children oh hallelujah you will make my business you will make my marriage a praise on the face of the earth hallelujah can you imagine that as we pray oh god that we will come into this dimension of praiseworthiness father we declare oh god that lord jesus uh, oh hallelujah that will rise up in the place of praise that our lives are uh, will become a praise in our community in our cities in our different nations uh, in our sphere of influence uh, that our life of praise oh God Jesus shall become so contagious and infectious to people around us oh God that Lord through your praise oh God in our lives that men will come to know you oh God hallelujah father we declare that everything that is not praiseworthy in our lives oh God Lord we declare that it shall be expunged today let it be exterminated uh, in the name of Jesus let the effect of any thing that is not praiseworthy Lord in my life in your life father be truncated today by the precious blood of the lamb in the name of Jesus father we declare that we enter into a new season of praise hallelujah where our life oh God radiates the praise of the Lord hallelujah just like Ruth who came from an ungodly background but Lord today we are in the kingdom and our desire is to radiate your praise oh God the Bible says if anything is of praise worthy hallelujah let us hold on fast to those things and so father I declare oh hallelujah where I have not shown where my star has not shown I declare that even from today yes Lord uh, the star of praise uh, hallelujah is shining it is radiating Lord with an effulgence of light uh, in the name name of Jesus I declare oh God the Lord Jesus even from far and wide oh God men will come to the praise of your glory in my life oh God I declare oh God a new season oh God yes Lord that my life shows forth the praise of the Lord hallelujah and I declare oh God no more shall I be put down hallelujah no more oh God shall I walk in disobedience my desire is to cling on to you and to hold on to you strongly and tenaciously together with my family and I will not give up oh God it doesn't matter what comes my way I declare oh God the praise of the Lord uh, shall be seen the praise of the Lord shall be heard uh, from my lips uh, in the name of Jesus oh God I declare oh God no more oh hallelujah 
shall I be hidden anymore, O God? This is the time for me to arise and I shine, hallelujah, to the glory and the praise of the Lord. Thank you, Father. I give you all the praise, O God, as roots came into those dimensions. Father, today I also come into it in the name of Jesus. Nothing hinders me anymore. Nothing can impede me from entering into those dimensions. I declare, yes, Lord, forcefully that I may praise on the face of the earth. Wherever I am, I am a praise in my office. I am a praise of God on the road, in the streets. I am a praise of God. The men will look at me and see that I, I am bestowed and declared the praise worthy son and daughter of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Take all the glory in Jesus' almighty name. We have prayed. Amen and amen. So God bless you. Thank you for listening to me. And I hope that you will join us again and again on this platform. Just listen to this and just pray along. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen.